Today's the day we get to go ashore and have our first taste of life in Indonesia. It's uh, just on, just before sunrise, and uh, well, we've been listening to music from onshore all bloody night. I think we must be, must be a nightclub or something. <laughs> it's loud, all the way out here in the anchorage all night. Oh. It's going to be really fascinating here today. We haven't found our agent yet. Um, I kind of thought he would find us yesterday afternoon, but he hasn't yet. So we'll just have to figure out where to go. Do it ourselves, I guess. I guess once we get ashore, we can work things out one way or another. Beautiful out here. Very nice anchorage. Very calm. And uh, we've had a couple of Indonesian fishing boats with us all night. There's one leaving this morning. Don't know where he's going, probably fishing I guess. How beautiful is this? Just lovely. Right on the top of the tide, don't know if you can see in front of us there, looks like a, um, something sticking out looks like a rock. It's actually the, the top of a wreck, and quite a large wreck too. It's not marked on the charts, so you'd want to be bloody careful coming in here. Um, right on the high tide, you wouldn't know it's there. Once the uh, low tide's there, it's, um, it's quite a big vessel. So it extends a long, long way offshore from that position. Anyway. This will be our day today in Salmlaki. This is going to be good. We've had uh, quarantine on board. Uh, they've given us a clearance. So now... Uh, in about 45 minutes I've arranged for customs and immigration to come on board the boat so I'm going to go pick them up in the dinghy if I can get ashore because the tide's out at the moment I think it'll be close 45 minutes, 40 minutes before I've got to pick them up hopefully there's enough water to get in pick them up, bring them out Three, okay, and the first one I'll just give you a possum Thank you Thank you Thank you boss And for you Okay Thank, Thank you, you so much Bye. Yes, Bye. yes Yay. Okay, now you get fast forward YouTube, how good is that? Yay. Uh, Thank you for Joyce and Imam, Imam yes, who've okay. come all the way out uh, to our boat to clear us in today. Yeah. A lot of paperwork to do. <laughs> uh, and they've both been absolutely wonderful here in Samaki, so thank you. Yes, and your vacation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a stern line out because when the tide drops you'll end up sitting on concrete and rubble and not good for your dinghy. Little stern line out, tied up onto the jetty. There's the main jetty there. There's the working port. And that's where we're headed, into town. Well, we just got uh, the equivalent of 100 bucks out of the ATM. That's the maximum the ATM would give us. That's a million rupees. You have one million rupees, one million there, Johnny. One million rupees. Yeah. Uh, one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Yeah. So, oh, we're rich, man. <laughs> Higgins, which is pro he's probably one of the most famous guys here in Salmlaki. Higgins is acts as an agent for visiting yachts. Uh, so uh, when people are coming from, especially Australia, but also America or any foreign yacht coming to Salmlaki, um, many of them contact uh, Higgins in advance, and we did as well. 
and he was here waiting for us when we arrived and he has helped to walk us through the bureaucratic Olympics that it has been uh, and without Higgins help we would have probably still be doing it uh, so Higgins is the guy to speak to he speaks English he sailed boats all around Indonesia uh, he's he's crewed on boats he's skippered boats uh, he's studied English at university so his English is excellent and as a special treat he's brought his daughter Yvonne out to see us today hello Yvonne hello YouTube hello. <laughs> so Yvonne has come out to see us today and Tan is cooking up some Thai food for us Yay. and we're all gonna have a little bit of feed uh, to celebrate the fact that we've finally cleared into Indonesia Satu, Satu, Inam, Enam, Tuju, Tuju. So we've got a numbers game going on here. It's a tie game um, that we have on board. It's just kind of a time waster, um, but it's helping us to learn Bahasa enam. Indonesia numbers. Well, total glass out here this morning in Samwaki, um, hoping to move on to the next island south of Samwaki, about 20 miles away today. Just waiting on uh, our agent, who Higgins, who was uh, going to grab 30 litres of diesel for me. That way I'm uh, full on my diesel before we leave here. I suspect it's going to be difficult to get fuel uh, after we leave San Marquis, so it's better to be topped up. Uh, considering, I don't think we're going to get a lot of wind for the next, <laughs> the next week while we move uh, towards somewhere that I think we might be able to get refuel. So, uh, hopefully, an, uh, hopefully we get moving fairly early this morning. I'm keen to get going. Um, I want to go find some nice beaches. Uh, it's a it's a working port here. It's not the prettiest um, of locations, uh, although the people have been lovely. Um, I'm just keen to find a nice white beach that I can take Tarn for a walk and we can have a swim and check out seashells. And, yeah, more village life than town life, let's say. Baby, wake up. It's time to go. <laughs> My body. Every time we go sailing, she just sleeps. <laughs> wake up. We go sailing now. So we're going to uh, an island just south of San Marquis. We've got fuel, we've got money. Uh, we finally checked in, got all our paperwork. Oh, that was a mission. Anyway, already done. So uh, now we're heading uh. south, about 20 nautical miles. Can't remember the name of the place. I'll show you on the map anyway during the video. Let's go. <laughs> and we're now headed out of Sao Marquis. Heading to... Oh, I keep forgetting the names of these places. Heading to... Pal Palau Salari. In the village of Nam Tabung. Nam Tabung. Uh, apparently our agent has a brother and or something there, so maybe we'll catch up with him. He doesn't speak English. We don't speak Indonesian, so <laughs> I guess we'll figure it out. But we've got a very light breeze. Flat calm water, I'm uh, making about three knots. We've only got 20 miles to go today, so it's now quarter past nine. We've got lots of time. I'd like to get there in time to enjoy the beach. Apparently there's a nice beach there. And I would also like to get there in time to make some water, because we need to uh, need to fill up our water. We're making five and a half knots, having a nice little uh, sail in 10, 12 knots of wind. Flat water, it's beautiful. It's really pretty. sarn has got the lookout for me. Yeah. Keep watch for boats and uh, fishing platforms and nets and all sorts of things in the water. Rubbish, I guess, too. And that's our destination, sort of ahead of us, about 20 miles. Well, we haven't uh, long left Selmaki, and it's already starting to look like the Indonesia that I kind of imagined in my mind before we headed off here. Uh, just ahead of us a little island that we're going to pass on the way through to our destination and uh, it's just got beautiful white sandy beaches around it clearly got some um, coconut trees there in the distance a little village I mean to me that's that's what I kind of imagined uh, Indonesia sailing to be and I'm hoping that most of it is going to be like that from now and uh, there's another island here we're actually going to pass it through a passage between those two islands there plenty of water according to the charts but how lovely is that i mean gee whiz why would you live in selmaki when you could live there 
On that beautiful island, I don't know. Anyway, we're cracking along, having a nice little sail in flat water. Check it out. Island of Matakus. Matakus. Uh, it's just a, a short skip south of Salmaki. Beautiful long white sandy beach. Coconut trees. Oh, this is Indonesia. What do you think, darling? It's good. Yeah? Good beach. So we can go beach and uh, walk everywhere. The wind's dropped out on us. Um, and we're just ghosting along, really, at a couple of knots. Probably not more than two knots. Um, which is giving a steerage way, which is really important. Uh, and then the tide, which we lucked out, is flowing with us and we're getting over the ground five knots. So we're making a nice comfortable five knots over the ground here, which is really good. And as long as I've got steerage way, then uh, I'll ride that current. So uh, I know it looks like we're hardly moving, but I can steer the boat um, and we're on course and making five knots. So no point starting the engine. I'll only start the engine once I'm not making ground anymore. I'm making our approach now to Namtabung on the island of Palau Salari, just south of Salmaki. And uh, I can see that there's a, a village of Namtabung that uh, looks like a very, like a really small town, I guess. Um, looks like it got a big TV antenna or maybe a internet antenna and quite a few houses. Uh, we're gonna go a little bit further away from there. Uh, just try and find a little beach by ourselves. I can see two or three little white sandy beaches there. We're gonna go find one and anchor there for tonight and maybe tomorrow night as well. If there's no wind uh, to sail on tomorrow, then we're gonna stay put and just enjoy it. Um, I think we've earned it. We've earned a nice white sandy beach and a good swim in the water. snubber on. Just take that load off the, um, the anchor winch. And we'll maybe get rid of some of the mud that we picked up in Simulaki. Nam to boom. What do you think my darling? Nam to boom. Yeah, good. Good? We have a uh, couple of beaches. One over there, looks nice and white. And a little bit stony, but still some sand beaches there. Looks pretty. There's um, a whole heap of floating buoys off to our uh, port side here, uh, which I assume will be fishing nets between them or something like that. And the reef uh, here shelves up very rapidly. We've, we've uh, anchored in 20 meters, but I'm only 50 meters off the reef. So I, I don't want to get any closer to it. Um, 20 will be fine, 20 meters is fine. So we're going to anchor here and stay for the night, at least maybe two nights. We'll see how we go. Are you happy? Yeah. Very happy. Yeah, really happy. Okay. Yeah. Huh? A little bit. So this is beautiful. This is uh, Nam Tam Bang. <laughs> <laughs> Nang tam bang. No. Uh, something like this. Uh, vegetable, Alena. No, not vegetable. No. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is the township over here. There's a little beach just off the anchorage. We picked our spot perfectly because where we are anchored to our left or our port side, there's heaps of fishing nets, and to our starboard side on the other side of the reef, there are fishing nets everywhere. Mm -hmm. We would never have seen those had we come in late afternoon or night time. So uh, we just picked the right spot. We're in a good spot. You see net in there? Yeah. So net. anyway, let's go check out the beach. <laughs> because I want to see this one. Oh, I have plastic. Help me. Oh no. Indonesia have plastic everywhere, baby. Big thunderstorm just forming over there. We'll have to keep an eye on that fella. I think it's a long way away. I don't think it's going to bother us, but we heard some thunder a minute ago. So, you know, 
It's within hearing range at least. <laughs> yes, good one. So this one, new one. So keep. Ooh. <laughs>